What's up comic creators? Uh, so in this video, we're going to go over some quick uh, tips and tools for editing audio in iMovie. Um, so I'm just basically going to go over the basics for you to show you how to uh, edit audio, all the various different things you can do to edit audio in iMovie. Uh, if you guys would like me to do more tutorials on video production within iMovie, uh, let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, and maybe I can put together an entire playlist for, you know, start to finish how to edit audio, video, the whole nine yards in iMovie. So today I'm just going to mess around in this junk file I have with random clips. Um, you'll see stuff in here. I've got like photos of hair and stuff because I was doing a project with a hairstylist and random street clips that I took. Um, so I promise I'm not a crazy person. You'll see that in the background. But uh, yeah, a little, little disclaimer there. <laughs> If you capture audio and video together at the same time, uh, which would be the case if you're using a mic attached to your phone or camera, uh, then you can separate your audio from the video clips to edit it and add it back into your video. Uh, I have a, a video on a free audio editor that you can use to reduce background noise and enhance the quality of the clips you've collected up in the uh, link above or in the description box below. So if you're looking for help on how to do that, uh, follow those links and I have uh, some content there to help you there. So. Um, if you want to cut to B-roll footage or if you have audio that you want to continue over other footage, uh, this will help you learn how to do that too. So obviously you click uh, on the video, right click on it, um, and then you would uh, select detach audio. Um, if you can't right click, you can also click on modify at the top of the screen too. Um, if you don't have right click function on your Mac, um, if you click the actual audio clip and then click modify at the top, it'll do that. But from there you can move it around, you can add it to other clips, you can, you know, do whatever you need to do, you know, move it to separate parts of the project, the whole nine yards there. Um, but uh, now that you have the audio separate from the video or you're starting with a separated audio, here are a few tips for better quality audio in iMovie and editing audio in iMovie. So you'll want to utilize the editing tools menu in the top right hand side of your screen, making sure that the audio clip you are editing is selected uh, so you can view the various options iMovie has to edit those audio clips. So um, there are three menu options for editing audio clips in iMovie, the icon, uh, with the bar graph allows for background noise reduction and equalizing uh, so you have preset options for increasing bass and treble and all that good stuff uh, the little speedometer icon allows for adjusting the speed of the audio clip and you can also reverse the audio if you're wanting to add some sort of stairway to heaven controversy into your video <laughs> Then the third icon is the three bubbles. Um, it has some audio editing tools in it as well. So from there you can alter the audio sound, making the pitch really high or low. You can also add some weird effects like making the voice sound robotic, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty, pretty cool what you can do there and mess with that. Uh, so next we'll start showing you how to edit your selected clips like adding fade ins and fade outs and dicing it up and stuff so on the clip you'll see uh, small bubbles on each end if you use your cursor to grab the bubble and drag it you will adjust how the clip ends uh, you know fading it out uh, when you do not adjust the fade the clip will end abruptly so it'll just cut out so adjusting the fade will lengthen or shorten the amount of time the fade takes place um, obviously on the reverse end you can fade in to your uh, audio clip as well. So the little bar in the center allows you to adjust the audio levels for the clip. Uh, you'll be messing with this a lot if you have like sound effects and other audio clips going off at one time. You'll have to mess with each clip to try and find a, a reasonable uh, volume level so that way it blends nicely and you're not just getting blasted in your eardrums when you do it. To edit out a clip, you can right click on it and select split clip, or if you have the clip selected, you can always go to the top and click modify and then split clip, however you have your Mac set up. And then the magical thing that I'm showing you here is uh, Command Z. Command Z allows you to reverse anything you do, um, which is great. So if you make a mistake, you can just Command Z and take it away. So that's pretty awesome. If you're taking out pieces of your audio, like dead space and all that, you just you know cut uh, on each side and then you can click modify or right click and click uh, delete or command X, which is delete as well. Um, and then, you know, if you make a mistake or you cut it out too soon or too late, you can just command Z and take it back. So that's how you would dice up audio clips there. And then if you're wanting to get really close in and zoom in that little settings bar right there, you can scroll it over and it zooms into the project. So if you really need to get in there and see 
specific pieces of the audio clip. Uh, that's how you would do that. And then you can cut it out and then zoom out. So uh, that really helps if you're you know, trying to cut out something that's hard to see just in the overall view. So if you're trying to import media, any media file, whether it's audio or video, you can either click and drag the file into the project, um, or you can click file at the top left of the screen. It's the little arrow button and you can actually select uh, import media. Uh, very simple to do. And then from there, once you select on import media, you can uh, you know, select video, audio, picture, images, whatever the case is, uh, and just import that media uh, to the project. So very easy to do. I also have another video on where to find free music and sound effects for your videos. Uh, just all the free resources that I know of on how to do that. Uh, link is up above or in the description box below. Um, and that will take you to the video showing you basically every option I have or that I know of um, or that I use right now to get that sort of content. So. so with iMovie, you can layer as many audio clips as you want into your project. So I'm just going to add in whale sounds because whale sounds go good with street projects. But um, and just, you know, just to kind of show you here, you can go as deep as you need to go, basically adding in all the audio, which at that point, like I was showing you earlier, you'll use the volume levels to adjust so that way you're not blowing someone's eardrums out during your project. So as you're adding these in and you're adding in all your sound effects, the one thing you're going to want to pay attention to is how this all sounds flowing together. Uh, and that's with any project if you're doing like background music and then other stuff going on in between. Okay, and then I can just clear all this out. You can highlight the whole thing and click Command X uh, if you want to just delete something out in mass uh, without having to go through and click delete on each one over and over again. So uh, as far as recording voices, if you click on the microphone button underneath the video preview box, I already had my microphone option on here. Um, on the right of your screen, you will open up the recording option, which is the red record button underneath the video. If you click this button, you'll begin to record audio on your project wherever your tracker is on in the project. So if you want to record audio like I'm doing here, you want to make sure that your tracker, this little uh, bar that's moving across the screen, is right where you want to start recording because it'll give you a countdown and then when the countdown's over it'll start recording right where your tracker was when you click the red button so once you have that recorded you have your audio right there that's your basic voiceover tutorial the microphone function within iMovie automatically connects to the internal microphone on your computer or if you have a microphone plugged in uh, it'll automatically connect or you may have to manually connect connect it as well I also have a tutorial video on how to reduce background noise and get better auto, audio quality once you're already editing your video project, so once after it's recorded, and those ways are free. Uh, there's a link up above and in the description box below for that. And in the description box is a link to a video I made on low cost and free ways to record better audio. So there's like the free option and then I have some options for really low cost and expensive uh, microphones. Uh, so if you're looking for uh, just better ways to do that, click that link in the description and to be taken to that video. Do not forget to check out the link to the Who Buys This uh, product of the day. Um, the only hint I can give you is that's one shocking potato. <laughs> so you need to check that out. Uh, really funny stuff that we find. And you're just like, who the heck purchases these things? You know what I mean? All right, comic creators. I hope this tutorial helped you and I will catch you next time.